So I've got a really quick video tutorial for you today. I'm going to be showing you how to seam together this little gap that we get in between our toys legs when we divide the stitches to knit each leg. So when you rejoy your yarn to knit the left leg, you'll want to leave a long tail end because it's this tail end that we'll be using to seam together this little gap. So you'll need to take a yarn needle and thread the tail end through your yarn needle. So we're gonna take our needle and we're gonna go underneath the running thread of this stitch over here on this side. If I can get it on camera. There we go. Okay, and then we're gonna pull our yarn through. Then we're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. So we're gonna go under the running thread of this stitch here. There we go. And we're gonna pull our yarn through, keeping a nice even tension. Now we're going to, instead of going underneath the running thread, um, because the stitches are going a different way now, we're going to go underneath the both legs of this stitch here on this side. Then we're going to go underneath both legs of this stitch here on this side. Like so. Pull the yarn through, keeping an even tension. Okay, and now we want to do the same as before. We're going to go underneath the running thread of this stitch on this side. And then we're going to go underneath the running thread of this stitch on the opposite side. There we go. And then we just pull our yarn through. So that's the join there, as you can see. Um, it's not necessarily invisible or anything, but it secures it nicely. Okay, so now we're just securing the tail end. Like so, make sure that you've pulled your yarn through to seam that together nice and firmly and then we're just going to bury that tail end inside the toy and there we go that is how we seam together the little gap in between your toy's legs